photographic projection. The given block is drawn in isometric, which is a pictorial form. And in this video, I'm going to show how to draw it in third angle projection with the front elevation looking in the direction of arrow X. So we have the dimensions as follows. We have 10 plus 20 plus 40. That gives a total length of 40 mm. Then the width is 30 mm. And the height is 15 plus 25. That gives a total of 40 mm. And don't forget that the question says we should take our um, front view from the direction of X. Now, there are three main views peculiar to an object. So the first one is the front view. The front view is the part of the view that is, in, that is positioned just directly to you. So you assume you're standing here and the part that is facing you is called the front view. Then the plan is called the top layer. That is the layer that is above the given block. Then the last part is called the end view. From there, we'll move on to bringing out the views. The first thing we will do is to bring out our front view. Now, when you study this isometric block, you see that the front view, that is the part that is directly facing you is just this this shape so it looks like you like letter u so now we can see it and it's dimensioned as 10 plus 20 plus 10 that gives 40 by a height of 15. from there we'll bring out the plan which is the top layer now the position you took in bringing out the front view it's still the same position you will maintain to bring out the plan. So I will assume that I'm still standing at this point. If I'm still standing here, which is direction X, this is the given direction X. So I will still stand here to pick the top view. I will see that there are three rectangles at the top. So we have one, two, and three, and is dimensioned as 10 by 30, 20 by 30, and 10 by 30. The third part is the end view. When you look towards the end view, you will see a rectangle, but it's not an ordinary rectangle. It's a rectangle with thin short dashes. So I'm going to fix the thin short dashes at a distance of 15 because when you study this block, it is not an it is not a full cuboid. The cuboid, a part of it has been removed, has been taken out. So from that point where the, the block was removed or was cut out, we place the thin short dashes, which is used to indicate hidden details. So I'm going to place my thin short dashes at 15 mm. It is used to show hidden details. Now, the third angle arrangement is as follows. We have the plan placed above the front and the end view. Then beside the plan is an angle of 45 degrees to the horizontal. So now we have the three views. All we need to do is just to position them in the uh, orthographic plane. So the first thing I'm going to draw, because I want to draw in third angle, is to position the plan. I already have all the views. I need to just place them one by one. So I'll bring out my ruler. 
places after you have finished drawing the vertical and the horizontal axis these are the two the first thing you need to draw the vertical line and the horizontal line then you bring out your ruler place it by the side of the vertical axis by the side of the vertical axis at any point on the vertical axis measure one centimeter inward this is one centimeter you pick your pencil put a dot then look locate another point locate another point that's my first dot locate another point on the vertical axis measure one centimeter inward put a dot again remove your ruler now i have two dots i'll bring out my pencil using construction line i'll join the two dots together and i'll take them all the way to the horizontal line I'll pick up my ruler once again, place it on the horizontal line. Then I'll measure one centimeter inward from the horizontal line. Pick your pencil at any point on the horizontal line, make a dot. Take it to another point. Measure one centimeter away from the horizontal line. Make a dot. Remove your ruler. I have two dots on this point. So I'll bring out my thin line again. I'll connect the two dots together. I'll connect the two dots. I'll take it to the vertical line. I'll take it to the vertical line. Now you can see that the two lines are meeting at a point. So I have the first one, which is this, and I have the second one, which is this. They meet at a point. So the point where they intersect is where I'm going to start my drawing the essence of drawing this projection lines is for the three views not to touch the vertical and the horizontal line so i'm going to represent my plan the plan reads 40 by 30. so from this construction line i'll just place my ruler to bring out the first part which is 30 this is 30 At point 30, I can erase the line. Now I have 30. So I'll measure the horizontal line. I must get 40. But all my drawings must start from the point of intersection. As you can see, I'm starting from the point of intersection to bring out 40. So this is 4 cm. I will erase the remaining part. Okay, since my 4 cm is divided into 3, I have 10 by 20 by 10. So I can divide directly from the ruler. So just put a dot at point 10, another dot at 20, take out your ruler, connect the points together, then you have your first view. So you can use your thick line to bring out the views.
as you can see, I've been able to bring out 30 by 40. After that, I'll project lines from one, two, three, four points. I count again, one, two, three, four points. I'll take it down to where I need to draw my front view. This is projection two. This is three and this is four. Okay, so now I'll have to bring out one centimeter away from the horizontal axis. In this case, I don't need to bring out one centimeter from the vertical because it's already projected. So I'll just come to the first line, pick my pencil, put a small dot, to show one centimeter to save my time. I'll go back to the last line, pick my pencil, make a dot at one centimeter. So I've been able to draw one centimeter away from the horizontal line. So from there, I'll pick my ruler again, join the points together. So I've been able to establish my one centimeter away from the horizontal line and in this case i don't need to draw from the vertical line so the next thing is to bring out the front view since the arrangement is plan front and end so to bring out the front i need to draw i need to measure 40 by 40. so this is already 40 then i'll take it down by 40. With my ruler, I'll measure the 40, which is the vertical height of the front view. I've got into 40. can just erase my construction line at both ends. At the same time, if my line is very thin, I don't need to do that. I can just join it together. So since this is 40, I'll connect it together with the last one, then take it up. And to bring out the shape, I'll have to measure 15, 15 from the base. I'll measure 15 from the base upward. So I'll still need my ruler. Place it at the base, pick my pencil, measure 1.5, this is 1.5. So the 1.5 should be measured on the second and the third line. It should be on the second and third line. Okay. 1.5. Then I'll take it to the third line. To mark 1.5. Let 
this is 1.5 okay so i've got in my 1.5 so from there i can just join join from the top as you can see this is the shape it goes this way horizontal vertical horizontal vertical horizontal so i'll start i'll close this up as a horizontal line take it down vertical up to 1.5 then from 1.5 close it up with a horizontal line take it up again close it up with horizontal line so this middle line is open is a thin line i want to open it up so that you can see it clearly So I've been able to draw my plan and the front elevation. The last part is the end view. To draw the end view, I need to project lines from the front view towards my right hand side. Um, I will also draw an angle of 45 degrees beside the plan. So the first thing, I'm to project one, two and three points. Point Then I'll bring out my protractor, place it, this is my protractor, the 90 degree part, which is at the middle, should be positioned where the vertical and the horizontal lines meet. Then you count 45 degrees. Now I'm starting. So this is 10, 20, 30, 40, and 45. At 45, I'll put a dot. I can now remove the protractor. Then I'll join the 45 degree line to the middle point. So this is my 45 degree line. After which I'll come back to the plan. This is my plan. Then I'll project two points, one and two. I'll project those points to the 45 degree line, one and two. I'll stop at the 45 degree line, then I'll take it downward. They are construction lines. Okay, after this, I'll bring out the last part, which is the end view. So I'll just use my thick line, bring out the rectangle. and fix the tin shot dashes, which is at 15 mm. So it's already established, it's already here. Now, after this, I'm going to dimension the, the views using chain style of dimensioning. Now, when you're using chain style of dimensioning, just Leave a little space after the view, draw a projection line or a dimension line. Make sure it's thin. Dimension lines are thin lines.
puts the projections or the extension lines. One and two. Pixel arrow. Fix arrow on the other side. This is the plan. So we can take the measurements from here. The height of the plan is 30. So I'll come and write 30 position the 30 at the middle of the line let it sit on the line so the next part i'm going to dimension is the front view using the same style of dimensioning Please ensure that your dimension line starts from the beginning of the view to the end of the view. Then this one, I can break it because it's divided into two sections. I have 15 and 25. Fix your arrow, the arrow edge. and place the numbers. So this is 15 by 15, one five. And the second division is 25. That gives a total of 40 mm. Right, so I'm going to dimension the base. The base of the front elevation is 40. I'll place mine. Dimension line. Fix the arrow edge. All right, so I have 10 This is given as 10 10 20 10 So the last part I'm going to dimension is the end view. I've dimensioned the front, the plan, the front. I want to dimension just one part on the front, on the end view.
and it's 30 mm. All right, we have come to the end of today's drawing. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.